Hello. So today we are going to discuss about mutex. Before discussing what mutex is, let's try to understand this use case. So we have a joint account, and this joint account is actually shared by three account holders. We have account holder one, account holder two, and account holder three. So what happens in joint account is the account is actually shared by multiple uh, account holders and they can credit amount on and they can perform credit and debit. So for example, a person one, the account holder one wants to credit $100. So we will have $100 in their account. Now, person two, the account holder two looks at the balance and it says, okay, uh, the balance showing $100. So I can make a purchase of $70. And at the same time, a person three or account holder three wants to um, withdraw some money. And he says, we ha I have $100. So let me, let me withdraw $80. Now, as you can see, there is a conflict. So only one transaction will be successful because the uh, total balance is $100. And either account holder two will be successful or account holder three can be successful because otherwise the amount will go in negative. So since this account is shared, so we need a locking mechanism where when there is a transaction, this balance should be locked and only one transaction should be able to pass. And we can achieve this same locking and also unlocking. We need to unlock after the transaction is, is done we need to unlock. So we can achieve this locking and unlocking using mutex. And now we will try to implement the same case, same scenario, and we will see how mutex can help achieve this goal. So now we are in the code and let's try to implement the same uh, use case. Um, so let's try to first implement the account holder. So I will say func account holder one. So in this function, I'll take name name of that person that will be string and now this person is going to let's uh, let's try to depict that this person is going to uh, make some transactions so i can say for i equals zero i is less than five i plus plus so this person is trying to implement or is trying to make five transactions and for every transaction uh, we need to have a balance right so let's try to var account balance it's an integer let's say it's starting with zero and for transactions i'll make another function i will say func transaction and uh, in this transaction, I will take the amount and I will take the transaction type, right? So the transaction type is, is this a credit transaction or is this a debit transaction? So I will take its type, type, it will be a string, okay? So I will say if type, Okay, so type is a keyword, so I cannot say just type. I would have to say, for example, transaction type, right? So if I'll say if the type transaction type is equals to credit, then uh, this will this block will be executed, and if transaction type is equals to debit then this block of code will be executed right now we have a little bit of a structure so let's see let's see what we actually want to pass so we want to pass the uh, in transaction type uh, we want to pass transaction type amount and let's suppose we also want to pass the name so we will say name which is also a string so i will say for example uh, account holder one in, is going to make some transactions and he will 
we will call transaction and we will pass amount for example the amount is ten dollar and transaction type let's say we call credit and the name so the name is the the same name and the name is here right the account holder name and this account holder name we will pass from the main method so let's write the main method so i will say func main so here i will say account account holder 1 so i will pass the name of account holder one so the name of the account holder one for example is jazz so what i need to do i want to create three um, account holders so i will copy the same code and i will say account holder two and account holder three right so this one is account holder three and this one is account holder two and all are so this one i will say not about this is debit and this is let's say let's make credit for now and i'll call all of them from here right so i will say account holder two and the name of the account holder two is jane and account holder three the name of the account holder three is Ali, and uh, yeah, and we want to make this as a go routine. So let's make this a go routine. We, I'll pass. I'll write go in front of all these. Now again, we have a problem that if I execute this program in this shape, the main method will uh, will be finished, and we cannot execute these go routines because they will die. The go routines will also be terminated. We need to implement weight groups. So we will say, for example, so for the weight group, I have uh, two options: either I use within the main function, or I can use as in, a, in as a as a package level here. So if I would use in a main function here, then I'll have to pass them in account holder as a parameter. So let me let me declare this uh, as a class level, as a package level, and I can say var. Uh, let's say wait and I will say think dot weight group right and here I will add three to the weight group I'll say wait dot add three because we have three go routine and uh, what I can do is I will say here defer defer sorry not default defer 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 weight dot uh, done right once this method is completed then this will work so i will say weight dot done and same here defer wait dot done okay so now we have go routines also and here oh yeah right here we need to write wait dot wait so we want the main method to wait here until our go routines uh, would finish okay now what next we want to do we want to protect the account balance right because this is the uh, balance which uh, we want to protect and the transaction will and all the transactions will change the value of account balance so if we have let's let's try to in transaction if there is a credit transaction so what we want to do we want to say account balance account balance plus equals whatever the amount which is the amount we are getting let's say amount next we want and we want to print a message we will say fmt dot print line and we will say amount has been credited so we can say something like uh, dollar dollar and 
D it's the placeholder has been credited by and here we can say um, F and we can say F amount has been credited by the first is amount and the second parameter is name okay so transaction okay it's transaction type it's a transaction type and in case of debit transaction we want to deduct the amount so we can say account balance is equals to account balance minus minus amount and then we have to check is this um, is this less than zero so before doing that first we need to make a check and we will say if account balance minus minus amount is less than equals to zero if it's less than or equal to zero now if it's less than zero right if it's less than zero then we can say we will say format dot println this transaction is not valid the amount is greater than existing balance and we will return from here okay and uh, else in another condition the another condition is if that this is not the case then we can safely safely perform this operation which is we will deduct the amount and here we will say we will copy this has been debited right okay so so we we what we are trying to do is we are trying to check if the account balance and from the account balance if we minus the amount provided and if it's, it is less than zero we will say the transaction is not valid the amount is greater than greater than the existing balance or greater than the balance and uh, and then we will return and otherwise in the next case if this is false then uh, we will deduct the uh, amount from the balance and then we will set this set that value into the balance so now what we need we need to protect this uh, section so that we in in when we have multiple transactions we could lock this uh, code and we can perform our transactions safely so for that i have to use the mutex so let me var and say mtx mtx dot mutex and here I will say mtx dot lock I'm going to lock this transaction here and I'm going to unlock here all right so I think we are good to go and let's first check okay so what we are doing is we are trying to add ten dollar five times that will be fifty dollar by uh by the first okay so the first account holder is going to add ten dollar which is which will be thirty dollar in total and then we are going to detect um ten dollar again five times and then it will be zero and then we are going to add for example one dollar so in the end we will have only five dollar remaining if all of these three transactions will execute as expected so let me try to add a little bit of time let's say just to add a little bit of delay time dot sleep and i'll say time dot millisecond multiply by 500 and i'm going to add this in all the transactions so we can we could know what's actually happening 
and after that after this weight i can say for example format dot print ln and i'll say the current balance is and uh, here i can i will try to print that current balance and it's um, account balance okay so hopefully it will work fine so what we are expecting is we are we are expecting that um, we are adding 50 dollars then we are withdrawing 50 dollars and then we are adding five dollar right so let's try this go run dot okay so okay it's not running let's check what is the issue so the problem was the uh, printing instead of uh, s printf which returns a string uh, which we were not using so i had to use the printf okay now let's uh, run the same transaction uh, the same program okay so as you can see here we we have one dollar okay so we have one dollar then we have ten dollar we so as you know when we uh, run the go routines we don't have the uh, control or uh, that which one would be executed by the scheduler so sometimes it's one dollar sometimes it's ten dollar so and at one point of time uh, the transaction we got the message that the amount is greater than the balance and uh, at the end we have the current balance which is fifteen dollar right so so it means that we have achieved what we wanted to do so what we did in this program we used mutex uh, to lock and unlock the the piece of code which we want to uh, protect and we could have used this same in the debit trans in the credit transactions here also but in the credit transaction it's just addition we are just adding more amount so it's not a very risky transaction but when we are trying to deduct an amount, that's a transaction which which needs a proper uh, lock, proper locking mechanism. So I hope this would be helpful for you, and uh, thank you.